she says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound <sighs> fine two times then the sinkhole and just now <sighs> hey let me see that <sighs> leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? North Pole? That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise we won't last much longer out here. You think people actually live like this? What's... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. about time. What took you? bad with a side of broccoli. The hell's that? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. Deadwood! Shoot the damn thing! 
Hey, that don't count, by the way. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Deadwood ain't all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. How would a nest like this out here? You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo. Thanks. Who? Who are you? Later, we gotta get moving. On three.
That's all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait. <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. The way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. Would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight.
Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm fine, I... Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, we need to get her to the ward, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Yeah. This is Riggler. Tony Riggs. I got you, darling. <sighs> Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. <sighs> Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest. Okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? Yeah, well, you'll be safe here for as long as you need, Traveler. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing out here. <laughs> Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you. You know, when we did. You stirred up quite a Deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He... he gave us a heads up someone was coming. Then Clementine was the one that found you. They... they got a kind of, uh, a root sense, I guess. And Wally... I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he... he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh... he's a good kid. Oh, the kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root. Sees what they see sometimes. The... the past, the future... Whew. All that knowing. Huh. It's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. <laughs> I guess... 
I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kind of put me in charge. Now, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but the ward's the only family I've ever known. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks? I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself, uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that? Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Uh, granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it, not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. <laughs> I usually leave storytelling to Reggie. Or if you want some really wild tales, try Mudtooth. <laughs> now there's an old timer who can twist a yarn. Between me and oh, I I, I don't um. <laughs> uh... What? No, no, it's not. I don't. I mean, I, I do, but it's it's not like that I <sighs> have uh, have you ever met anyone like her traveler because I haven't like I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around you know but the way she fights for folks no matter what it takes out of her it it makes me want to do better I I kind of want to make her proud you know I I guess you could say she's my my inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't... Mm, don't tell her I said that, though. Make yourself at home, Traveler. We're all family here. Good luck. You know... <laughs> it, it's strange how quiet it is here some days. If you're like, looking for Founder Ford, on. yeah. Kind of boring, if you ask me. I'd like a little more adventure in my life sometimes. Oh, yeah? Well, we could sneak off and do some exploring in the old ward. Just you and me. Yeah. Or we could just hang out here.
Looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse. I'm sure he's got something going on. Always does. Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know you're lucky they found you when they did? You're fr She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Like what? Listen, I don't care what you two are. I'm just saying, don't lose it, whatever it is. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. Go on, then. What are you trying to say, sunshine? <laughs> well, no need for that. You know how a doctor gets good at her craft? Study gives you head knowledge, a necessary start, but it don't make you good. You learn a thing by doing it over and over again. For me, that means people who need my help. The more people there are suffering, the better I get at healing them. And Sunshine, I'm the best damn doctor for miles. My grandfather, he'd been treating folk his whole life, nearly as long as the Roots been around. I started assisting Grandpa when I was five. Dressing wounds, making meds, cutting at the table, you name it. Simple stuff at first, but yeah. You're old enough to hold the knife, then you're old enough to use it, he said. But how I helped him most was digging through the old hospitals. Even after a century, there's a hell of a lot to find. All of it useful to someone as clever as Grandpa. Huh. <laughs> Tons. The old humans knew a lot about the human body, it turns out. Stuff even Grandpa didn't know. Did you know they used to be able to replace a man's lungs with someone else's? Or put a dead man's liver in someone whose liver didn't work anymore? <laughs> to think of all the folks Grandpa and I could have saved if we had that kind of know-how. There's plenty if you know what to look for. Most of the basic meds are long gone, but there's still plenty of specialized tools and ingredients there. Stuff no one knows what to do with but me and my grandfather. What they don't got, what I never found once, is a cure for root rot. That's why so many folks died when the root first showed up. Grandpa had to invent a treatment on his own. A treatment, not a cure. He probably wasn't the only one. I'm sure others came to the same solutions independently. But after Grandpa figured it out, he traveled as far as he could and taught it to everyone he met. I don't know where he started, but I reckon every treatment within a hundred miles of here is derived directly from his work. You can thank him that your friend is still alive. Came here maybe ten years back? My ma had died and Grandpa didn't feel safe carting me around the countryside by himself. It turned out good. The city's full of scrounge, and Grandpa made a living selling bandages and meds while treating folks for free. I do the same. He even attended the old commander when she passed. Couldn't do much for her except ease her going, but folks around here thanked him for it. Made us part of the ward and all. All right. Asking questions is the only way we learn, as my grandpa used to say. All right. You need anything, I'm here. So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone, but my friends call me Reggie. You can too. Saw so you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. <laughs> I have been known to tell a story or two. The old mud tooth does give me a run for my money. Or did you mean that I collect the stories? Because I do that too. And I'd love to hear your tale, Traveler. <laughs> 